In this video I will share with you how to separate drum rack MIDI patterns into separate MIDI channels using a real-world use case to illustrate all of it. To do so I will be using a free Ableton Live project called EDM Drums I did a while back. To download it you can follow the links below, it's all free. But before we get to how, let's start with why you should sometimes separate your drum rack MIDI channels while working on your productions. Here we have a complete drum groove consisting of about 12 or so drum sounds. Let's say we would like to create a variation of the same groove with a few more hi-hats and a variation with one more hand clap at the end of the bar. With any slight change we would like to make to the original drum pattern, we would have to also copy a lot of redundant MIDI content along the way. By separating this drum kit into individual instrument groups, we can really improve our production workflow in this area. To do so, I will split this kit into four channels. The first one will cover kicks, snares and claps. The second one will consist of hi-hats. The third one will include toms, congas and other percussion instruments. And the last one will consist only of the crush cymbal. Let's switch to the session view. You can do so by using the tab button on your keyboard. To start the separation process we will need four new MIDI channels. For that we have a shortcut Ctrl Shift T or Command Shift T on a Mac. And to keep everything organized let's rename our new channels straight away. Simply select the channel you want to rename and use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl R or Command R on a Mac. To proceed to the next step, we need to open the inputs and outputs of our channels. Use the shortcut Ctrl-Alt-I or Command-Alt-I on a Mac to achieve just that. Now in the MIDI 2 pull-down menu, select the drum rack channel with EDM drums for each of the four new MIDI channels we created. Enable the input in the drum rack channel and we are ready to move to the next step. If we now launch the clip located on the drum rack channel, we will have dead silence. It's because the drum rack is expecting MIDI notes coming from the four new MIDI channels. When we place the clip in one of the newly created channels, the drum sequence plays just fine. At this point we can move to the instrument group separation process. To do so we will need to simply copy the same clip onto our four MIDI channels. To copy clips in session view, hold Ctrl or Command on a Mac and drag the clip while holding the left mouse button. Now we need to delete the MIDI notes from each MIDI clip we don't need anymore. In the first clip everything besides kick, snare and hand clap is out. In the second clip, we are leaving only the hi-hats. In the third clip, we are getting rid of the kicks, snares, claps, hi-hats and the crash cymbal. And in the last clip, we are leaving only the crash cymbal. Now that the groove is separated into groups, we can launch each group independently of each other. At this point I like to group together all my drum rack associated channels. Select the channels you want to group together by holding down the shift key. And use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl G or Command G on the Mac. That way after I collapse my group I can launch every single sound group with just a single clip representing every MIDI clip in that row. Now creating slight changes to the main beat will be way less cumbersome. Let's create a clip without the kick drum. And a sequence without the closed hi-hats. Now let's make a sequence with a couple more crush cymbals. 
and let's create a simple breakdown clip by adding a few more hand claps at the end of the bar. We can now mix and match the clips and create different groove variations by copying the clips into new scenes. I will put together three simple scenes using what we already have. To place the clips that are currently playing in a new scene, use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac. This will be the first groove variation. This will be the second one. And this will be the third one. After everything is said and done, we have a few building blocks for a simple house track. There is sadly one drawback to this approach, and it's the way you apply audio effects. For example, if you would like to apply, let's say, reverb exclusively to the hi-hats, dropping the audio effect directly to the hi-hats MIDI channel will simply not work. All audio effects must be placed in the drum rack channel or in the channel you are routing your drum rack channel to, but it's a topic for another video. If you place the reverb after the drum rack, all sounds will get affected, which in this case it's not something we really want. To target only selected sounds, you'll need to create a send channel inside the drum rack itself. Just follow me on this. Click here and here. To create new return channel, right click and pick one from the pop-up menu. And now we can drop the reverb in. Now we can route the hi-hats to the reverb send channel by adjusting the value for each sound we want to target. Ok, let's test it out. The reverb is working on the hi-hats and the rest of the sounds are unaffected by it. You can of course create many more send channels that do many different things. Go ahead and experiment with this project, it's available to download for free below. I would like to thank you for tuning in and checking out this video. I have many more audio production tutorial ideas lined up, so you should definitely stick around and consider subscribing if you're into this stuff. If you want to see more videos straight away, click on the boxes above, and if you want to help me out, leave a comment and hit the like button, and I will see you on the next one.